Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Jess and in today's tutorial we are going to be learning how to make a hexagon granny square. This is super easy, very similar to your classic square granny square with just a little bit of difference and I can't wait to share it with you. So let's gather some supplies and we will jump into it. So for today's tutorial, I'm just going to be using this Heartland yarn from Lion Brand. It's just a size 4 medium weight yarn, nothing special about it. And I'm going to be pairing that with my 5.5mm crochet hook. We're also just going to need a pair of scissors, but otherwise that is all we're going to need for our project today. So let's jump into the tutorial. Alright, so I'm just going to grab my yarn here and my crochet hook. And for today's tutorial, we are going to be starting off with a magic ring. Now you should know how to do a magic ring prior to this tutorial. Um, I do have some videos I can link for you if you'd like to watch those to learn, but I'm not going to be doing a tutorial for that in this video. So we're going to start off with our magic ring here. Now to start off our first round, we're going to start off with a chain two. And this is going to be um, our first uh, double crochet. We're going to consider this our first double crochet. Next, we're going to make two double crochets. One, two, right inside the round here. And that is going to be our first cluster, our first double crochet cluster. Next, we're going to chain two, one, two. And we're going to continue on with our second double crochet cluster, which is going to be three double crochets. Two and three. And we're going to end with a chain two again. Now we are going to repeat this so that we have a total of six of these double crochet clusters. So we have two, so we have four more to go. So we'll move on to the third one here, which is going to be again, three double crochets with a chain two. Again, and all of this is going into the round, making sure you're crocheting over both um, the center round and the end strand so that we can pull it tight at the end. So this is two, and here's the third one. So now we have one, two, three, four. So we just need two more. And I have to chain two here, not one. And we'll move on to our next one here. One, two, and three. Chain two, one, two. And we're going to make our last one. One, two, and three. And a chain two to end. So this is what we're looking like right now. We have our six clusters. So there's one, two, three, four, five, and six. Next, we're going to grab our magic circle tail here and we're going to pull that closed. Now, it doesn't have to fully be closed. Um, I kind of like it when there's some space because there's going to be holes in our granny square anyways, or hexagon square. Next, we're going to place a slip stitch here in the top stitch to end off round one. So this is what we're looking like at the end of round one. So moving on to round two, we are kind of in the middle of this cluster here and we want to get over to this chain two space right here. So all I'm going to do is go in and slip stitch all the way over. So slip stitch into the next stitch and then I'm going to slip stitch right into that chain two space so that we're in a good position to start our next round. So to start our next round, again, we're going to chain two. And inside this chain two space, we're going to be working two double crochets. So there's one, 
and two. So this is a chain three cluster here with our chain two with our two double crochets. We're gonna chain one, not two, just one here. And into that same chain two space, we're gonna do three more double crochets. So we're creating our corners right now. So the corners are gonna consist of a three double crochet cluster, chain one, and a three double crochet cluster, and a chain one. So there's one corner completed. Next, we're gonna move over to this next chain two space right here. And we're gonna work directly into that chain space. Again, three double crochets, one, two, three, oops, oops, and a chain one. And again, into that same chain two cluster, chain two space, we're gonna do a three double crochet cluster. One, two, and three, and we're gonna chain one. So now we've completed two corners. So we're gonna work around into all of the chain two spaces. So that's a total of six corners with our three double crochets, chain one, three double crochets. All right, so to end off, we're gonna chain one, and then again, we're gonna place a slip stitch here in that top stitch to end off that round. This is what we're looking like so far after we've done two rounds of our hexagon. So moving on to round three, once again, we wanna get over into this chain space. So we're gonna do the same thing that we did in round two. We're gonna slip stitch over. So slip stitch over one and then into that chain two space, we'll place another slip stitch. Now, if you can see here, this is our corner here. And then this is the chain space in our straight. So what I learned for this round um, is that if you put too many stitches in this last round, your uh, hexagon won't be very flat. Now I do find that sometimes, most of the time, these need to be blocked to maintain that flat position, but this is the way that i found works the best to keep it natural without having to do too much extra work. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a chain two here, like we always do. And so because we're working into the corner here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do one double crochet. So we're only going to do a two cluster of double crochets instead of three. Chain one, and then back into that same space, we're gonna do two more double crochets. So a little bit different than the last round we were doing three, chain one and three. In this last round for the corners, we're gonna do two, chain one and two, and chain one. Now in these straights here, this chain one space right here, we're gonna place three double crochets. So one, two, and three, and chain one. And now we're going back into another corner here, this corner chain space. So again, for the corner, we're gonna do two double crochets, one and two, chain one, and then again, same space we're going back into. One, two, double crochets, and chain one. So that's one corner, one center, and one corner. We're gonna do this all the way around, so moving now, we're gonna be on that straight again. So we're gonna do three double crochets 
a three double crochet cluster into that chain space there. Two, three, chain one. And then moving into the corner, we're gonna do two double crochets, one, two, chain one, and two double crochets, one, two, and a chain one. Back on the straight, three double crochet cluster, one, two, three, chain one, back into the corner here, two double crochets, chain one, and two double crochets. chain one. So we're just going to keep working around till we're finished round three. Alright, so this is the end of round three here. I just chained one and again I'm just going to end off by doing a slip stitch into that last stitch here. I'm just going to take my scissors and cut a strand there. And I just like to yarn over, pull through to tie off that end. Pull that tight. And there is our hexagon granny square. Now I just find that it's it lays just so much flatter when you do it with that final round like that. Um, but you can block these so I do have a video on blocking if you need to look at that but I usually wet block these uh, especially for myself if you're attaching these for a blanket or whatever it is that you're doing. Sometimes it's nice to make sure that you have maintained the shape of all your hexagons before you attach them all together. So this is how you create your uh, hexagon granny square. I hope this tutorial was really helpful for you guys. Let us know in the comments down below if there's anything else you'd like to see. Otherwise, we'll see you in the next one. Bye!